Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Awesome Finds. This is a series where I showcase my latest vinyl pickups, and for the case of this episode in particular, these really are brand new releases. They have come out within 2021 to 2022, and there are a couple of reissues in here, but they have all come out within the last year. We're gonna start with uh, one of my favorite bands, Ceramic Animal, with their fourth album, Sweet Unknown. And this is on Easy Eye Sound. And if you know anything, that is Dan Auerbach's uh, record label out of Nashville. And he had a heavy hand in this record. He produced it, he co-wrote some of the songs on here, he even plays on here. But make no mistake, this is still Ceramic Animal. This is still their uh, garage rock put through a 70s lounge filter. And I feel like they keep getting more and more refined and they really are honing in on their own unique sound. And this album really, really stands on its own. And I feel it's some of their best work yet. I'll show you the insert. So you get a photo on one side and on the back you get credits for all the songs. There is side A. And there is side B. This is definitely one of my uh, contenders for top 10 of 2022. If you haven't listened to it, check it out. All right, so these next four albums all came from Sundays and or Modern Harmonic. They are essentially the same company. It's just depending on the type of release, they might throw something on Modern Harmonic versus Sunday. So we're gonna start with this triple LP set. These are reissues. So you have three albums that they're reissuing. And this sort of spans his exploration, Seren's exploration, fusing traditional Armenian music, as well as some Turkish music, blending that with uh, American jazz sensibilities. So mostly that would be like soloing and stuff. And it's, it's, it's a fascinating listen. Uh, there are some lyrics on here, uh, but I don't understand the language spoken. It's just really, really cool to listen to. And I think if you are a musician yourself, you'd get a lot out of this. But even then, if you're just a listener, endlessly fascinating music. I really enjoyed it. This is a triple LP, like I said, and you get a nice write-up. And I'll show you all the vinyl. Here we go. This is record one, side one, and side two. Side three, side four. Here's side five and side six. This was really fun to listen to. I highly encourage you to check this out. So up next we have It Happened at the Hop and this is a collection of singles put out by Edison International which was a smallish label. Uh, didn't last very long I don't believe and there's about three uh, songs in here that have never been issued so it's the first time ever that most of us are ever hearing these songs and we have a nice write-up by Brother Cleave who uh, was in Compost Combustible Edison, which I really enjoyed that band. And he does a great write-up, sort of uh, contextualizing not only the record label, but uh, all of these songs. And it's, it's really cool, because a lot of these songs are very, very hard to find. I personally had never heard of any of these, so it was a real treat to listen to it. Um, this is primarily, like it says, uh, doo-wop, and they call them sock hoppers, but I would just call them 50s pop music. I mean, if you're a fan of this music, you're gonna really dig this. I'll show you the vinyl real quick here. Comes on white vinyl. There is side A, and there is side B. So up next, we have the high keys with a little too heavy on Sunday's records from 2022. And this is a really cool early 70s rock band that never got to make it. And they put, in, they put in a lot of effort into their music. Their writing's really good. Uh, there's some really creative stereo panning going on, I would say, which is, yeah, the last song on side one, Buffalo Girl, is my favorite. It's got some really interesting early prog elements going on with changing time signatures. Uh, yeah, overall, I really enjoyed this album. Show you the vinyl real quick. Comes on this brilliant solid orange color. There is side one. And there is side two. If you're a fan of early 70s rock, proto prog rock, if that even makes sense, uh, and you're hungry for something new, something you haven't heard before, definitely check out the high keys. And last up, we have the eighth Wonders of the World. This is a self-titled release put out by Modern Harmonic from 2021. And this was a band that I think only put out a couple singles. And so this is an attempt to um, collect all of the songs that they recorded and quite a few of these were never issued before and this is very much in the style of swinging 60s this is my best way to describe this this also comes on that brilliant orange vinyl there is side one 
And there is side two. Moving right along, we have Billy Bio's second album titled Leaders and Liars. And this is from 2021 on AFM Records. And Billy Bio is the stage name of the lead vocalist and co-founder of Biohazard. And this is his solo project, and it is a wonderful blend of hardcore punk with new metal elements, and definitely, I would say, a little bit of hip-hop influence. Here is side one, or side blackout, and there is side looking up, side two. So yeah, if you're a fan of Biohazard and you haven't listened to this album, definitely check it out. All right, moving right along, we have the 20th anniversary edition of the debut album by Idea and Abilities titled First Born. This is on Rhyme Sayers, and this is in a uh, single sleeve, but it's definitely a boxier type sleeve because there are three records in here. Now this features, um, a lot of the handwritten lyrics of Idea. I love his handwriting. It's, it's almost a little difficult to read at first, but it's incredibly consistent the way, the way he writes and the angles. I, I really, really like that. So this is the first disc here. There's side A and side B. It's almost like marbly pink, uh, almost flesh color. It's a little disturbing if I might say so myself there. Here is side C, side D. I've never seen a record quite like this. So on one side you have the actual music, but on the other side you have the etched uh, band name and then just, just, it's like, it's like semi picture disc, uh, semi not. I don't know, I just, I find this so, so very cool. This is totally frameable. This is the uh, side that you don't play as the sticker goes into the music track here. Oh, just, I, I just love the look of this. It really is a really, really fun record to listen to and fun in the sense that I feel like every time you listen to it, it, it opens up more and more. It's like a, it's like a decanting wine. Like the more you, sp you spend this album, the, the more uh, you, get, you get out of it. And I, I just, ah, this is the kind of stuff I, I love and I'm so thankful that, uh, uh, this was actually sent to me uh, by Rhyme Sayers, actually, I think. I think they sent this to me. I'm not exactly sure. There was no note. It just sort of showed up in my mailbox one day. So uh, I was stoked to discover this uh, for the first time, just 20 years late. Moving right along, we have the original game soundtrack to Dying Light to Stay Human. And this is autographed by the composer. I don't know what year this came out, but I believe it was within the last couple of years. I have not played the game, but oh my goodness, do I love the music on here. It really stands on its own. It's a wonderful blend of classical orchestration with synth elements. And it has this beautiful recurring synth theme that goes throughout the album. And it really gives me chills every time I hear it. And there are moments of real beauty. And there's like these big bombastic uh, epic elements at other times. It's just a really well-crafted soundtrack that, uh, I, like I said, even if you haven't played the game, I think you'll get a lot out of this. And this is a beautiful gatefold release. Opening up, you have some really tastefully done spot varnishing here on the zombies and the hero and i'm back there you get the track listings i'll show you the vinyl real quick here's the first record and it comes on this uh marbled red and black color very very haunting there is side a side b and the second record comes on this smoky somewhat clear vinyl there is side c and side D. Up next, we have the fifth studio album by Father John Misty titled Chloe in the Next 20th Century. This is from 2022 on Sub Pop Records. And I pre ordered this. I got the Loser Edition. Comes on colored vinyl. I'll show you guys that in a second. But sometimes it takes me a while to get into the individual album. And this is certainly the case. I like it. I don't necessarily love it and I'm, I'm still warming up to it so I don't have like a really good opinion on it but the way some of the songs come across he very much dips into like 1920s music and considering that we are in the 2020s <laughs> I feel like he's drawing a parallel between these two time periods in doing so and granted like lyrically he is not reflecting those times uh, it is very interesting how well he adheres to those um, 
uh, those musical elements, if you will. But, you know, he does stray from the 20s and I think he gets up into like 60s style music. But it very much invokes like golden age of Hollywood. And I think other people have made that comparison as well. I mean, it's very theatrical on the cover here. So, yeah, it comes with pap plain paper black sleeves. And then this is the uh, very thin booklet that comes with it. You get the credits. Uh, it's plain blank black on that side and um, there's another picture of Josh Tillman and then this lady saying goodbye to him. See this is side A and it, it totally invokes you know uh, 1920s era Victrola albums or early RCA Victor albums right so instead of the talking dog you get a severed head <laughs> and what's interesting too is like they're around the rim he has these little different sayings on, it's different on every label, which I really like. And there is side B. Yeah, and I like how too, these little quotes, they're also very different. There's a lot of detail going on. I love how he does that. Um, it's almost like secrets, like decoding, like what does it all mean sort of a thing. So um, yeah, I'm just not ready to kind of give a full opinion on this album quite yet, but uh, if you've listened to it, if you have an opinion, if you like it, if you don't like it, let me know below. And uh, last but not least, I have Beach House's eighth studio album titled Once Twice Melody from 2022 on Sub Pop. And I sprung for the very nice box set edition because the cover art reflected the digital cover art and I just couldn't pass this up. I mean, this thing, just gorgeous to look at. There's the back there. There's the inside of the box again with the track listings. These are the beautiful inner sleeves. Unfortunately, they get um, a little marred up, the reflective coating. You can kind of see it's already coming off. They're less inner sleeves as much as inner jackets because each of these also have inner sleeves. And then here is the inner sleeve. You have chapter one and chapter two. And then there is the inner sleeve. And then you got the two posters here which I don't know where they'll go, but again, the artwork for the inner record jackets, there is uh, the first one, <laughs> blank on the back. Really cool to look at. Here is the booklet. Also has a gorgeous gold leaf going on, the cover there. There's the back, what's beautiful, I don't know how well this shows up, it's pearlescent paper. So it's got a nice, subtle sheen to it and again lovely attention to detail as the spine is also gold leafed right there beach house let me show you this a little bit better story time with the vinyl geek here get a little piece little piece of artwork for every song just about which i really like sort of an art magazine feel about it There is side A and side B. And then here is side C, like a crystal clear color. I love that. And side D. They keep doing it, man. I don't know how they do it. They just, they iterate on their sound, but it, each album feels unique and, and different. And yet it still sounds like Beach House. And this is no exception. And I don't know, it might be my favorite one yet. And uh, just so very impressed with this album. And if you haven't listened to it, please do yourself a favor, check it out. Um, and yeah, uh, just let me know what you think of it. All right, everybody, that will do it for today. I wanna thank everyone who sent me a record today. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, it's so cool checking out new releases on vinyl. There's nothing better than that, in my opinion. Like it's one thing to listen to it on digital, but you have the physical format, oh man, it, it changes it somehow. I, I think those of you know who have vinyl collections, that you can totally agree with all that. 
If you are interested in picking up any of these releases, please consider using my affiliate links down below. They'll take you to some awesome independent record stores, Comeback Vinyl out of Georgia, and Rough Trade out of London and New York City. And you'll be not only supporting the channel, but supporting independent businesses. And yeah, and that will do it for today. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm your Vinyl Geek, and I'll catch you on the flip side.